This week we're talking about hypothesis testing, but I want to begin by reviewing what we have learned so far in this basic business statistics course. You may recall back in the beginning, I explained how to do descriptive statistics, how to calculate a mean and a standard deviation for a sample. And then we moved into probability, how to calculate the likelihood of an event occurring. And then we moved on to sampling, samples and populations, remembering that the mean of a sample should be just like the mean of the population from which it was drawn. We are going to combine these three ideas in what we call hypothesis testing. We're going to evaluate assumptions about whether the mean of a sample is like the mean of a population. Let me start with our definition of hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is an inferential statistical method that uses sample data to evaluate assumptions about a population parameter. It's as simple as that. Okay, that's not very simple. Let's unpack that definition. Hypothesis testing is an inferential statistical method. This statistical method is a technique. And this technique has five steps, or at least I'm going to teach it to you with five steps. I'll explain later why five is not a magic number for hypothesis testing. I've seen more or fewer steps. But regardless the number of steps, the technique is exactly the same. And I'm going to show you how we will use these five steps to make a decision about a hypothesis. Inferential means that we are making an inference or an educated guess using our technique with five steps. Making an inference about a sample statistic compared to a population parameter. Specifically, the statistic that we are interested in is the mean, the descriptive statistic for a sample. We want to evaluate whether our sample mean well represents a population parameter. Does the mean of the sample match the mean of the population from which this sample was drawn? At least, that's our assumption. We begin with an assumption that a sample mean should be the same as the population from which that sample was drawn. The sample mean and the population should be the same. They should be no different. There's not a difference between the sample and the population. That's our assumption. We're going to evaluate that assumption using a technique with five steps to make an educated guess as to whether our sample mean truly represents our population mean. Let's review that one more time. Hypothesis testing is an inferential statistical method that uses sample data to evaluate assumptions about a population parameter. Let me tell you more about those assumptions. You see, we have already learned that when you draw a sample from a population, the mean of the sample should be the same as the mean of the population from which that sample was drawn. Therefore, we expect a sample to match its population. However, any time you compare a sample mean to a population mean, there will be differences. If you take that sample mean out to enough decimal places, you will find a difference between it and the population parameter. The sample mean will always differ from the population mean. Well, yeah, it's different, but I mean, come on. If we've got to go out to that many decimal places to find this difference, is it really different? I mean, is it different in a way that really matters? Is it I don't know, significantly different. That's what we're going to answer with hypothesis testing. We're going to set a criteria of difference. If the sample mean differs by this much, then we're going to say that sample mean doesn't represent a population mean. We're going to say our sample mean truly is different. And why might that occur? 
If a sample is simply drawn from a population, those two means should be very similar. So if we're sampling college-age men who, as a population, have a height average of 5 foot 10, we would expect that any sample drawn from that population would have that same 5 foot 10 average height. On the other hand, if we were comparing an experimental group to a control group, and that experimental group had already been given an experimental drug or some other intervention or treatment, then the sample mean might be different than the population mean. Not because of random differences that existed at the beginning, but because of an effect. We're going to learn how we can evaluate whether a sample mean differs from a population mean due to chance or due to an effect. We will explore which of those two explanations is more likely using inferential statistics to compute an actual probability value, a likelihood that the sample mean represent a particular population mean. And to better illustrate this, we're going to learn about hypothesis testing and polar bears, which we will learn in our next video.